Hey, what's up everybody? So I thought I'd make a quick video here and just show you uh, this new flexible filament I've been playing with. I just got it and uh, liking it so far. It's pretty cool. Uh, they call it TPU filament. Uh, the brand I got is Yoyi brand. I just got it on Amazon. Uh, it comes out to I mean, it's just over 20 bucks for a uh, 0.8 kilogram roll, which is like 3 cents a gram. So, a little bit more expensive than the regular filament, but very, very affordable. Uh, even the rafts come out cool on this. This is uh, the raft for this little guy here. But anyway, so I've just been playing around. i got another print going here that's using the whole print bed, basically. We'll show you that one when it's done. A uh, couple downsides on this. One, I first tried printing it with the uh, Finia H480, and that was a no-go. That wasn't going to work. I've tried to print similar flexible filaments with that one, and sometimes it works. It just it, it doesn't feed it very well. Uh, the other issue is the uh, temperature. That one unless you do a mod it has limited temperature control uh, this one has a lot better temperature control and the key is that little drive gear right there it's got a direct drive much better drive system so it's able to it's able to feed this really really flexible filament here the temperature I got this one set on is 240 degrees C it seems to be doing really good with that uh, any colder it's not going to work the H480 I think did it a little hotter and it was stringy it just it didn't want to feed it uh, it's really flexible really kind of cool got to come up with something useful to do with it uh, this was some riffles I was making for a sluice so now that's a little miniature sluice uh, gold trap is what I got going on right now uh, that one's going to be done here in a little bit, and then I'll show you that. And that's my review. I like it so far. Three cents a gram. That's that's awesome for, you know, I've used like the Ninja Flex before. Boy, that's super expensive and, and really difficult to print with. And this was a lot easier to print with. And uh, for the price, and actually the color, I like the color too. It came out pretty good, I think. So, got a little translucence in there, little shine, little sheen to it, and uh, super highly flexible. Okay, so my print's just finished here, and yeah, there's a couple goobies here, and yeah, a couple things, that, but that cleans up fairly easy. The real trick is going to be whether or not I can get this sucker off the raft. that is one problem with this film it is it's a pain in the butt to get that off the raft sometimes oh thank goodness for editing I can always speed this up aha there we go this stuff's actually really tough too I'm surprised how strong it is so I'm done test printing with the flexible filament at least for now would not Here's some of the things that I've made. I tried several different designs on different things. Here's a tube that it actually, once it started getting up high, it started getting a little cattywampus. And even there, about oh, an inch and a half in, I don't know if you can see that, it got off just slightly. So, probably not the best material for stuff like this. But for big flat items, I was really happy with how it came out. Stuff like that. You know, things like that even came out pretty good. I printed that one vertically. And it came out good. I don't know if it's useful for anything. Um, here was a, another big flat item that... That was a failed attempt at an idea I had. But it, at least it printed fine. Anyway, little cut. 
it's actually really, really, really flexible. And the print quality, too. I mean, you get extra little goobies. There are a few things. Let me show you here. Like you get little goobies in there. Weird stuff. You know, where the print head decides this is where I'm stopping and reversing direction. It's usually where it happens. But still, it's able to print thin walls really well. Able to print something like that. No support. This one was very little support printed vertically. You can kind of see on there, but yeah, it's got little goobies. So, and actually, the rafts are cool. i do something with these. These are fun, too. I don't know. It's like nice and slick and shiny. and Stretchy. So, here's my little projects. That's the 3D flexible filament. That's what it looks like, and that's what I did with it. Thanks for watching.